Hey, what's up everybody? This is Corey with Corey Hall Fitness. And today what I'm gonna be doing is showing you some tips for progression for the balance with the handstand push-up, okay? Now there's gonna be some things that I'm gonna be talking about that I haven't heard a lot of people talk about and the balance part of the handstand push-up. So I'm gonna be showing you some tips today that's gonna help you out with that. So I hope you're ready. Okay, first thing I'm gonna talk about is the actual foundation of your handstand. And the foundation of your handstand is your actual hands themselves because it's a handstand. So you're balancing your whole body on just your hands. So it's very important that you have good grip strength. And what I mean by that is you wanna be using your hands for balance, okay? You're gonna be squeezing them and gripping the ground to stop your body from falling forward or backward or from the side to side, okay? So your hands play a big role and I'll show you what I mean by that. Next step that I'm going to show you is the muscles that you're going to be engaging when going up into the handstand, okay? And there's going to be three different types of muscles that are going to be pulling against each other. And what that does when they're pulling against each other, that creates a center balance, okay? Those muscles are your core muscles, your lower back, and your butt, okay? Now you're going to be using those at certain times. Now, let me show you what it looks like when most people are starting to learn how to do the handstand and they're coming down into the push-up. Let me show you what it looks like. And they usually end up following the opposite side that they're looking. And there's a reason for that. They're not engaging those muscles. They're not tightening them up. Okay? Now, when you see yourself going that way and you're falling, what you need to do is tighten up that core. And what it will do is it will bring you back this way. Okay? And you see yourself falling too much that way, what you want to do is tighten up your lower back and your butt. And it'll help you pull that way. Okay? Also, make sure to remember to use your hands, your grip strength too. Okay? It all goes together. Okay. Last thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is your legs and feet, okay? Now, these are really important using this when you go into your handstand, okay? A lot of people don't talk about this. They just talk about doing handstands against the wall and finding your balance. Well, that's what we're here for. We're here for the people who are progressing and learning how to get that balance better, and these are ways that you're gonna do it, okay? And what you wanna do, you wanna make sure that when you come up into the handstand, you're gonna have a slight bend at your knee, okay? And then what your legs are going to be doing is they're going to be pointing up in the air, okay, just like this. Okay, you saw that my legs were had a slight bend at the knee and my feet were pointing up in the air, okay. Now what could happen is I could do it too much and I'm going to fall this way. Now how you catch yourself, you're going to tighten up that core, you're going to straighten those legs out and you're going to bring your toes from pointing to this way, okay? Watch it. Okay? And you'll really notice and use these things as you're actually going down into the, the press, okay? You don't notice it too much when you're just up there in the handstand, but when you're pressing, you're gonna notice you're, you're gonna be, have to engage your core, your lower back, and your butt a lot, okay? Also, your fingertips and your feet and hands, okay? Just remember all those things.